Hi, thanks for joining us for another episode of Macro Insights. We're in Geelong today and I've got James, our expert, Geelong expert with me. I'm going to pick his brains on infrastructure while we're standing in front of the Geelong train station. Feeling a bit disheveled actually. It, it's so windy and, and also raining but also blue sky. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, it's a bit of classic Geelong and Melbourne yeah. weather, Sharon. <laughs> So James, I'm um, wanting to ask you about infrastructure spending in Geelong. Yeah, uh, what are some major projects? Uh, well, as you can see standing around here, Sharon, um, key things popping out for me and, and certainly um, in Geelong at the moment, you can see the, the WorkSafe building um, that's in its sort of final stages, it looks, of construction. Um, so that's going to be Geelong's tallest building. Um, $120 million of investment have gone into that one. Um, so that's a major project going up in Geelong at the moment. Yep. We've got the Deakin um, student accommodation going up over there and, and they've just broken ground as well in the NDIA building, um, which is also a Mallop Street just down from the, the new WorkSafe building. So big government and um, government agencies spending down here at the moment. Excellent. All right. So when uh, you got, have you got some completion dates for us? Yeah. So WorkSafe, I think um, the final move should be around um, late 2018. Um, so, and the NDIA, I'm not 100% sure on, on the completion date of that one, um, but as I said, they've just broken ground of construction there. Yeah, so. okay. And what about jobs? How many jobs are coming to Geelong when um, these so buildings are the, completed? The WorkSafe building will house circa 700 um, people. Um, so obviously that's not going to be creation of 700 jobs, um, but it's 700 people moving down to Geelong that almost certainly didn't um, live down here um, already. Yep. Um, obviously with the Deakin building, uh, you've got student accommodation, so, so that'll um, further boost the, the student capacity of the university down here, certainly of those that, that can attend the university. Yeah, great. And I mean, I just found out from you today, this morning, talking about Deakin, that there's actually two campuses here. So yeah, there are. I didn't realise that. Yeah, yeah, so obviously the, the waterfront campus and, and the one down in Maughan Ponds yeah, as well. Yeah, excellent. So. All right, and what about, um, I know there's some rail projects that have happened and happening at the moment. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, so uh, Warm Pond Station obviously is a, is a big one. So having grown up here and um, generally the, the trains have ended at the Marshall Station. Now we have Warm Ponds, um, which was completed in 2014. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so that was huge for that area down there, certainly for the Belmont, Warm Ponds, um, Grovedale areas. Um, and then we've obviously got uh, Victorian government's just secured Commonwealth funding, um, $110 million, I believe it is, for um, in the regional rail link scheme um, for the Surf Coast mm -hmm. Rail project, um, which will also pave the way for um, duplication of the lines between Warm Ponds and, and South Geelong. Excellent. All right. So, so there seems to be a lot going on in Geelong infrastructure wise. And what does this, how does this tie back into house prices? Well, if you think about it, so um, further jobs being created, um, we've got further confidence in the market, more people coming down, um, logically speaking, if you think more people coming down here um, looking for houses, um, it's, it's going to push prices, or well, logically speaking, it, um, it's going to affect prices, push, push prices slightly up, increase that competition. Um, so it's a really good step for Geelong and a really good sign for the economy down here. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you so much, James. Not a problem. Just for my, before I leave, I just, for my head, I want to clarify a couple of points. So yep. we're talking that we've got some big government projects, three bu old, two buildings going up at the moment, the yep. WorkSafe and the NDIA. NDIA. Oh, and, and Deakin as and well. And then the so, Deakin yeah. as well. So that's three. So jobs coming into Geelong mm -hmm. um, and more people coming into Geelong and all of the rail projects as well. So yep. jobs as well. Com building confidence Huge and, confidence. you know, Possibly moment. pushing house prices up. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, and feel um, yeah, come again next week.